the race against irrelevance. It's brutal. That creeping fear that everything you know might one day become useless. It's not just paranoia, it's reality. No sugarcoating it. In this field, that's not a possibility. It's a guarantee. One day you're an expert solving problems, building solutions, feeling unstoppable. The next, the tech you built your career on is fading, replaced by something faster, something better. That's just how it goes, right? It's happened before. And it's happening right now. And it will keep happening. And the biggest threat to your career? Assuming what you know today will always be enough. But it's not just about learning new tools. It's about understanding how everything keeps shifting beneath us. Monoliths to microservices, REST to GraphQL, predictable architectures to AI-driven chaos, tech doesn't wait. The moment you stop evolving, you start falling behind. So let's step back and look at the big picture, how technology has shifted, how it keeps following the same patterns, and what that means for your future. Because if you think things will stay the same, history says otherwise. If you've been in this field long enough, you already know, I mean, tech doesn't just evolve. It shifts violently. I mean, one day you're on top of the world as a Java Swing developer. The next, everything is web-based and you're scrambling to catch up. I mean, this industry moves fast. And if you don't keep up, you risk being left behind. To survive, you need to understand how we got here, what's changing and what's coming next. This constant cycle of innovation reshapes the landscape of software development. Recognizing these shifts is crucial for staying relevant. Let's take a look at how software development has transformed over the years and why that should keep you on your toes. Over the decades, software architecture and communication technologies have undergone significant transformations. They've reshaped how applications interact and scale. In the late 1980s, the Common Object Request Broker, or CORBA, was developed to connect distributed systems. It was language agnostic, but it was also complex and slow. As CORBA declined, Java-based enterprise solutions rose in popularity. Enterprise Java Beans, or EJBs, provided a way to scale applications, but they introduced their own problems. I mean, we got complexity, performance overhead, and a heavy execution environment. So then came the Spring Framework, a lighter, more flexible alternative that shifted enterprise development toward uh, web services. So by the late 1990s, SOAP web services became the standard for communication, but SOAP had its own issues. I mean, we've got bloated XML, payloads, complex service definitions, and uh, inefficiencies for sure. In response, Service-Oriented Architecture, or SOA, emerged. It aimed for modular interoperable services, but even SOA felt like a half measure. Then came microservices, small, independently deployable services that decentralized data management. With it, Spring Boot took off, simplifying service creation and modular development. But microservices had their own problems. RESTful APIs became the norm, but they weren't perfect. Overfetching, underfetching, network inefficiencies. In, uh, in 2012, Facebook introduced GraphQL, allowing clients to request exactly the data they needed. Nothing more, nothing less. For larger teams, the backend for front-end pattern emerged, tailoring API responses to specific applications. For smaller teams, REST or GraphQL alone often worked just fine. Each shift in architecture changed not just how we build software, but what skills developers needed. And it's evolving. Software development just didn't evolve. It completely changed how 
and where developers worked. Early on, desktop applications ruled, then the web took over, then mobile. Each shift forced developers to adapt or risk becoming obsolete. And then uh, came data. Companies saw an opportunity. Data was power. Um, data science took off, creating entirely new roles for those who embraced it. At the same time, real-time applications became the expectation. Users wanted speed, instant updates. So WebSocket and HTTP 2.0 and real-time systems became invaluable. The developers who adapted thrived. Those who didn't fell behind. And now AI is changing everything. I mean, tools like GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT are automating tasks that once took hours. And we have IDEs that are integrating, you know, all the AI tools. So you'll be able to code with AI. Uh, things like refactoring code, generating solutions, optimizing workflows. And we all know GitHub Copilot is a little crappy and it's not quite there yet but it's only getting better. The developers who learn to work with AI will thrive. The ones who resist, they'll struggle, they'll struggle to, keep, to up. keep up. So what is the takeaway? Software development isn't about chasing trends. It's about recognizing the patterns that drive them. Technology will keep evolving, but the ability to solve problems, I mean, design scalable solutions and think critically, that will always be in demand. Master those fundamentals, and you won't just survive these shifts. You'll shape them. So, what we do differently starting today? Will you embrace change and stay ahead? Or will you wait until the industry forces you to catch up? The choice is yours. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.